Hello, this is the tutorial for the Brighton Swing Cami. If you don't already have the pattern, the link is in the description. We're going to start with the straps. There we go, I've cut two rectangles for my straps. Just going to fold them so the right side's inside, edge to edge along the length. Pop a couple of pins in and stitch a centimetre from the raw edge. Pop it under the machine, a quick back tack, centimetre seam allowance, all the way to the end. Another back tack. Here we go. So you've got two straps and we're going to turn it through. I'm using my scissors here. If you're using a bulkier fabric you might want to trim that seam allowance down a little bit but this isn't really. Push it all the way through. You can use a rouleau turner. I quite like using a rouleau turner, but this fabric might just be a bit of a challenge for it. There we go. All turn through to the right sides on the outside now, rolling that seam out a little bit so that we can put it under the eye and give it a press and it'll be nice and even all the way down. There we go, that's one strap. Do that for the other one as well. And now we're going to do the side seams. So front and back, right sides together. Match up the side seams under the arm. Pop a couple of pins in. Same for the other side. And we're going to stitch a centimetre from the raw edge again. Here we go. Back tack to start. Off we go. Back tack to finish. So that's a centimetre seam allowance on both sides. We're going to give that an overlock or a zigzag and then I just press the seam allowance to one side on this as it's quite a light fabric, it doesn't need pressing open. So I usually press my seams towards the back. Now for the facings. Again, these look very similar so you might want to write in pencil or chalk on the back to say which is front and which is back. Otherwise you should have some notches under your arm. Always two notches for the back and one for the front. Just going to pin these under the arm here. Tiny little seam. One centimetre from the edge. I've put interfacing on these facings to give the fabric a little bit more structure. Back tack, back tack, one centimetre away from the raw edge. We're going to press that open. And then we're going to overlock or zigzag all around the edge of the facing, the raw edge, like so. So you can see the seams are open, just reduces the bulk a little bit. That's what it looks like on the right side. And we've got a nice neat edge. Now to attach the straps to the facing. You can attach them to the actual cami if it is easier for you. I like to do it to the facing just because it's strengthened a little bit so it's less likely to stretch. I'm just going to put a quick stay stitch in so you don't need to back tack or anything but it just holds them in place so that you know when you're stitching your facing to your cami that you definitely haven't got them twisted. They're in the right position. So that's the first bit of the strap attached and now we need to do this look you can see that is perfectly straight. It's right side to right side and we're going to pin that again on this side. And again double check there's no twist in that strap. You might need to adjust these for your body shape so now's a good time to do that. Pin the other side. Again no twists in it. It's nice and flat. Pop a little stay stitch in so we don't get all twisted. Job done. 
Now we're ready to attach this facing to the cami. So I'm going to pin these bits. Again, you'll want to check your notches. I'll show you those in a minute to make sure you've got the double notch matched and the single notch matched so you've got the facing the right way around. I'm just going to pin those strappy bits there. Turn it all inside out, which I find is easier. So the facing's on the inside. Make sure you're not all tangled up. Unravel everything. There you go, there's your notches. There's two there, so that's the back. And you'll have a corresponding two notches on the back of your facing. So we've anchored those four key bits down. And now we're going to... look. There's a single notch for the front, so you know that's the front. I'm going to find those side seams next. That's another key point to anchor. So it's side seams to side seams. Pop a pin through those. Nicely matching curves there. Find the other side seam. That's it. Match those seams together. Pop another pin in. And we're going to stitch a centimetre away. Seam allowances are always a centimetre on my patterns unless it states otherwise. I'm going to come off and go back on again because these angles are a slightly unusual shape. I want to get it exactly right so do the straight bit first and then I come back on to follow that curve all around. That way your stitch line will be really snug against the edge of your shoulder strap. There we go, we've sewn all the way around. Now it's time to clip some of these seams and trim up some of the extra bulky bits. It's worth taking your time with this because it really does give a lovely finish to your neckline if you get your snips as near to the stitching as possible. It's all too easy to snip that stitching so we're going to take a little bit extra off here, look, just to make it much less bulky where those straps come out, keeping it nice and neat. I'm snipping every inch or so here, all the way around. And then we're going to turn one through, and as if by magic, there we go. Oh, little straggler. You can see that's going to look really smart. So once you've turned it all through, we want to edge stitch. So this is where you pull that seam allowance all the way towards the facing and then stitch, pull it apart as much as possible and stitch right near that edge. You might want to press it first. Here we go. So with that seam allowance pushed towards the facing, that's towards the right here, underneath, there you go, just pulling it through. I'm stitching pretty close to that edge, just a millimetre or two away. You won't be able to go all the way around in one go because it's too fiddly. But just go as far as is comfortable. And it will help so much to get that lovely professional neat finish on your neckline. Okay, so you can see the stitching there. It's looking very nice. We'll need to give that a press. There we go. Cut off any straggly bits that are left. Let's have a look at the right side as well. That's very nice, but you can see it looks very crisp. So it's just the hem now. I'm going to overlock mine and turn it. It's a nice, quick, simple finish. I know hemming's not everyone's favourite and it can get left, so keep it simple. Just folding it over a centimetre here, stitching through my overlocking. Always all the way around. Give it a press. And there you have it. That is your bright cami. A nice, quick, simple sew. 
you can make a whole bunch of these in all different fabrics and wear them with everything. This is what it should look like. Enjoy!